What it do, YouTube? Yeah. My name is Paul the Fifth. Normally, you see me at my studio, Legacy Studios Nash, changing things up a little bit for a different type of video. I am with my best friend in the whole world, ITT. What's, What's up, cracking, ITT? What's cracking, y'all? What's cracking? What's cracking? So today's video is all about the Hell Cat. Yeah. This is my brand new gun that I got a couple weeks ago. We're talking shop, we're talking about the gun, we're gonna be doing some QA, showing some accessories. You ready to get into this? I'm ready, man. All right. I'm ready to get it. All right, so what's on the agenda? What do you wanna talk about? First off, let's talk about the ergonomics, how comfortable the actual firearm is, okay? First off, it's just an amazing firearm, okay? Yes. All right, very compact firearm very very thin firearm so you can conceal it really really good and the slide is really short and that's what's beautiful about this thing man you can have it on you appendix carry three o'clock however you like to carry it five o'clock it doesn't matter super sweet slides right out the mag slides right out like butter freaking butter slides out like butter look at that beautiful beautiful slide on it um, it also has the U sight on it, okay? You have your night sight on the front, which is pretty, pretty cool, all right? All right, and then you have this beautiful stippling here too for grip. So if you have sweaty palms, you know, they have it right here on the hand grip, which is really, really nice, guys, okay? Sorry to cut you off, guys. And just to let you know, YouTube world, it's not loaded at all. Go ahead. When I fired this for the first time, you'll see it shortly, but this may be small, but this has some kick. I've jumped. You know, it has some good good recoil to it, guys, too, yeah. with it being a compact, you know, uh, subcompact uh, firearm. So, um, this is cool, man. So, the reason I have the two that it came with, I plan to, I haven't figured this out yet, but I'm going to keep two for the range and one for our own. Very good. No, that'll work. What kind of um, ammunition will you be shooting with? So we got full metal jackets right here. But when we go to the range, which are pretty good, full metal jacket, and then we'll be shooting with hollow points too. So that'll be for his actual protection, you know, when he's at home and things like that. It's really good stuff. Another thing, guys, this firearm has pretty good serrations, front serrations and uh, rear serrations here. So those are really, really good. Very nice with it. And like I said, it has that butter mag that comes out too. So it's just sweet, guys. It even has the stippling on the pinky extension down at the bottom, which is really, really good. So it still has it there too. Very, very good. Is this better than your other firearm that you had? Do you feel like? The XD was very similar. This one, I feel like, it's more powerful. The other one was about the same. It had a three inch barrel, just like this one. Was that an, on a nine millimeter too, or? It was nine, okay. yeah. It was great, it felt very good. A little thicker right here. Mm -hmm. And- The hand grip. Mm -hmm. I did not have a holster for the other one. Speaking of holsters. Yep. Let's show them the magic. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. Where they at? They in the back? Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. So, you guys might recognize this bag from a review the ITT did. Yep, very nice. Okay, you can, like I said before, you can actually hold AR-15 mags in here. You can do two in each section right there. Uh, but of course he doesn't have an AR-15, so he has a handgun, so. Show him what I got in the first one there. Uh, this one? Oh, he has his reloader. The reloader. Yeah, so I that's keep pretty it in there. cool. I keep a mag in this one. I keep a mag in here. On this side, I believe I've got my glasses. And over here, I've got my headphones. Yep, very and nice, guys. gun and everything in there. I love this bag. It's got a nice Padding. grip on yep. it. And talking about the holsters. There you go. This is the one I've been wearing lately. And it's rubberized on the back, guys, for grip right there so he'll actually be doing a review on this too because there's some other functions on it so we're not gonna go into it but yeah show the release on that it's right here 
Yeah. Yeah. And here's the one that's more concealed. There you go. Honestly, I like that one a lot better. It just feels a lot more natural to me. Uh, it feels just. I feel more protected with this one. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. It's just. I don't know. Maybe just for the fact that. From my own peace of mind, I know that I have I have my firearm on me, and nobody else need no knows that you have it. Basically, yeah, nobody else knows that I have it. This yeah. will be guys will be basically used just for range use. Yeah. So when you, when he's out on the range or something like that, this is ideal for that type of scenario. Um, that's good stuff. Very Absolutely. very good. Now, when you took that first shot, how did you feel? I was not expecting the kick in that boy. What this that boy kick did? Yeah. Let me show you that right now. What to do, YouTube? It's your boy Paul the Fifth in ITT here, Mister. I'm not from this planet. You already know. You already know this. We about to go to the Glock store and shoot. We got. Not only film, but we're shooting our guns. Trying out the Hellcat today. Shout out to Lenny and Dan. Dan is my man, man. Dan is the man. He had us come by yesterday, and we got some footage of the Tell Him ITT. Oh, you hear that engine? I know y'all hear that engine. Woo! Um, we got some footage. For yeah, so we got a mill video coming up, how to get your slides mill. So that's, that's super dope, y'all. All right, guys. We'll see you at the range. What's up? We are at the range. We are at shoot 270 Nashville. And this is going to be our target area, ITT and myself. I'm so excited. It's been a long, long time since I've been in a range or at an outdoor range. So let me give you a little tour of this facility. Look at this. I've got the acoustic panels up on the top of the ceilings. So this is all one big room. Yeah. Take your time. Drop the magazine, make the weapon safe. There you go. Good. Yeah, so that had a really powerful kick to it. And you just saw- I was cracking it. Yes. I was cracking up. <laughs> he was, was cracking, cracking it. Up. You probably saw that. So uh, this packs a powerful punch. I, I love it. It feels great. I, I feel very confident after yesterday's uh, time out the range. Did you feel more comfortable like after you literally shot the gun multiple multiple times? Did you feel more comfortable with the firearm? Yes. The first couple times I had to just get used to it because it was my first time shooting that. But as time went on, I became a lot more, like you said, comfortable, a lot more confident as far as the, um, what do you call it? The um, groupings. Yes. 
they got better. They got better throughout the process as yeah. we went throughout the uh, time at the range. There, where were we at at the range? We were at the Glock store. We were at the Glock store in Nashville. Yes. So you guys need to check it out. The Glock store in Nashville. Shout outs to Lenny, uh, Miguel for helping us out and getting us all taken care of. Shout outs to Dan. Dan. Yes. And Quentin. Yep. And Tucker. Yep. If you need instructors. John is the man. man. When I met him, I knew there was something special about that guy. Yesterday, you'll see the review that Ivan will be putting out shortly. Yeah. You'll see the specialness of what John has to offer there. And then another guy that we met on the soft opening, his name is Mario. And Mario came in for about a minute and a half. But that instruction and that time frame, what did that do for you? I mean, it, it gave me more insight basically on you know um the etiquette of firing a firearm and you know stance means a whole lot how you're actually holding the firearm means a whole lot you know it's going to help with recoil it's going to help with controlling a gun even the trigger pull the you know way that you specifically pull the trigger can make your groupings lure off to the left or lure off to the right uh which can be problematic so um, it's good guys to get training in just to, just to learn those things and try to understand them better because it makes you a better shooter and it, it helps you as far as understanding, you know, the laws, the regulations and things like that. And overall, it'll keep your life intact or somebody else's life intact. For sure. So I wanted to talk about the difference between being out of range and the shoot totally 270. Different. So totally when you're different. out of range, you're, you know, you can set your distance however far you want your target to be from. You're standing there. You may have other people next to you within the range. You hear things going off. But you feel restricted. At this, we were fortunate to have the room to ourselves at the time. And our instructor was there. So we had perfect concentration. We had someone that gave us his full attention. There wasn't anybody else in the room shooting distracting us. So we got the perfect scenario for learning. The thing that I took away from this is when you're at the range, yes, that helps you with your hand-eye coordination. This is a real life scenario. When someone kicks in your door at 3.30 in the morning, it's not gonna be me. You mm -hmm. gotta prep yourself for that. This gives you that opportunity to get yourself in the mindset to be ready at any given moment. And the thing that I loved and what I learned from Mario was, he said, when you're shooting, it's fighting fighting status. Well, you have to prep yourself for that. He for said. that, yeah, because it could turn into that, you know, to where you actually have the firearm in your hand. And, and so what if somebody actually grabs the firearm from you? What are you going to do? Yeah, it's the question. And he said, you know, when you're having to use your firearm, it's not when you're wanting to or it's gonna throw you off guard you have to be ready yeah and he's like like you said you know you get in that uh fighting stance and position and someone's gonna pull your arm and they got your gun what are you gonna do now right so yesterday's training session was just it was outstanding yeah it was yeah. next to none i mean it was so beneficial i learned so much in that 20 minutes I'm excited to go back, get my membership and everything. So it was really good. But seriously, guys, he's been talking about this firearm for so, so long. Since the Hellcat. Since it came out in the market. Some of my, my buddies from church have been talking about it. For so long. And so many people want this firearm. So many people want the firearm. We were lucky. He was lucky to even actually get it, guys. And where did you purchase it? So we got this from Gun Broker back in May. And we had called around you called the what's this door you want to um it was was it academy or yeah, was so it so you called academy they didn't have one you called the glass store they didn't have one and i think you called some uh bass pro you called them yeah and they didn't have one so he's like check out gun broker ordered it on a thursday i got to deliver the next monday yep that's fast it came from somewhere in georgia or alabama so, and it was USPS, which was even more amazing for a firearm to be delivered to me in Nashville. Beautiful. Look at that hole. Beautiful. 
<laughs> love it. Yes, that's the view they need to see. Look at that, yeah. Crazy. This is nice. And the trigger is just butter, guys. Butter. Butter. So one thing that I do want to get for this while you're showing that off is I want to get myself a tactical light to go underneath there. Mm -hmm. uh, just because if and when the time may come that I need to use that, if somebody happens to try and jack me while I'm leaving the studio, I generally am there to about 3.30 a.m. I'm in a remote location on the north side of Nashville and it's pretty secure, but people know Paul V is out there. They know what I have. I see the YouTube page. And again, not that north side of Nashville is not a safe, but... <laughs> it may not be. <laughs> may not be, boy. You got to be prepared at all times. I mean, any things can happen to you in, in the suburbs. And the way that it's going now, people so cray-cray out there. I mean, you just don't know when these things are going to happen. So... One of the main questions here is, why did you purchase your firearm predominantly? I, and I know it has a lot to do with the studio. It's not just that. Uh, there's times where I've been offered a position to go downtown, do live sound. If you've ever been to downtown Nashville on Saturday, you know that it is a lot of fun. It's crazy. There's all kinds of stuff going on. You probably showed videos of that. And if you haven't checked them out, check out ITT's page where he's doing his vlog uh, or Ivan's world, excuse me. I mean, downtown Nashville's hopping. Man. I don't Man. want to be going down there. So here's the deal. A lot of people downtown, bartenders, musicians, they get paid cash at the end of their shift. 3.30, 4 o'clock rolls around, they're backpacks are on their shoulders they're carrying their gear they're focused on getting home they work you know multiple shifts two to ten you know maybe a ten to two you're tired you're not you just want to go home have a drink relax well there's people in this world prey on musicians bartenders yep. they'll be in the parking garages downtown Buy a random car, three o'clock in the morning, gun, robbery, assault. I know you just made three hundred dollars tonight. That's mine. I gotta feed my fuel, or I gotta fuel my my addiction, or whatever. You know, again, not gonna be me. Yeah, and then the pandemic is pushing a lot of people to do really bad things too. And you know, humans are gonna survive whether it's wrong or whether it's right but you have to be prepared to protect yourself protect you know the things around you and to protect your family mainly so it's extremely important let me see that mat let's show them real quick how these mags pop in and out so that's how it looks like that okay so like that i'm glad i got that one because the 10 that goes by really quickly Beautiful. This one, you also have the uh, mag that holds 10. Of course, plus one in it. Boom. As you can see, it's a little different. You still have a little bit of room for the pinky. And then you have the uh, 12 plus one, guys. 12 in the mag. Butter. Pops out like butter. I think you made it extremely... Good purchase, my friend. Extremely good purchase. I do too. I, what do you guys think? We want to know. What was your reaction to me shooting that for the first time? What was your reaction to him seeing me uh, shoot that for the first time? I can't wait for you to shoot this. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be great. I can't wait because I've been really. Everybody talks about this firearm. Everybody talks about how awesome it is, how compact it is, and it is still packs a little punch too. It does. Um, recoil really doesn't bother me that much, but I mean, 
I don't know. I think a lot of people like recoil because it proves to them that it's, you know, a macho type gun if it has a little bit more recoil. But subtle recoil is always good to me because then you can actually hit hit your targets a little bit better. Uh, if you don't have something to stabilize that actual recoil, like a light that may have a little bit of weight on it, sometimes, you know, you can be off when you're shooting and your groupings may not look that well, but um, he's actually getting a light. So you guys will see a light on it soon. Yes. So we might be doing a part two to this. You yes, know. we will. We'll also be doing a little tour of some of the different ranges here in Nashville. So like we said, we were at the Glock store in Nashville uh, when we did our shooting yesterday, but then we're also gonna be going to places like the Royal Range, yep. uh, the Nashville Armory. Armory. Yep. What's the outdoor range you're telling me about? It's some outdoor range. I can't remember where it's at, guys. Uh, if you're from Nashville, let us know. But it's an outdoor range out here in Nashville that they talk about. So I'm going to have to do my research and find out. But I want to hit that range up, too. I think that's going to be awesome. Outdoor shooting is some of the best shooting to me. Oh, my gosh. I loved it. So when I was 12 years old, uh, my friend Eric, his father took Eric and I to the outdoor range in Indiana in Newburgh. It's called Red Rush. And the first gun that I ever shot in my life as a 12-year-old was a Don Wayne gun, or Clint Eastwood rather, I think. Uh, Ma the 357 Magnum. I'm scared. I'm holding it down like this. I drop it. I shoot the ground. <laughs> and I, I, was, I was scared, man. But that was so fun. But something in me just like, man, this is addictive. That smell, just the sound, the mm -hmm. everything about it. So I'm excited to get back into this. I gotta tell you guys something. This we didn't talk about this, but. I was 20 years ago involved in a drive-by shooting. And this was 2001. It was September or October, it was kinda in the fall. And I decided to stay on campus for the weekend. And it's about five, six o'clock, maybe earlier than that. We see this car driving by us. I'm like that's weird no lights on it's getting dark i'm like well i don't have the lights on well next thing we know <laughs> like if you've never heard something whizzing by you that's crazy there's nothing like it and the first time we went to the range you're like man why are you acting so giddy well that's why if you've ever been in something like that um i was scared of these i'm not gonna lie but over the last couple you know months or so i've been getting more comfortable with it and as times are changing you get used to it yeah mm -hmm. i'm getting over that fear i'm taking that uh the, the feeling and just those memories and stuff i'm, I'm, I'm turning it back into the positive and I'm, I'm learning how to protect myself and i'm gonna get better it's gonna be a lot of fun we can be sharing this footage so this is good stuff guys you got to remember you know Part of you being an American, that Second Amendment is huge. Very, very important. Even if you don't like firearms, it's good to have something there to protect your family. It's extremely important. And I know you guys wondering, where are we at right now? You always on, you know, Paul the Fifth's page, and you always see his studio where you're in ITT studio right now. So that's where you see this surrounding areas and things like that. That's where we're at right now, guys. So. Yeah, we appreciate you all watching. Sure do. One thing I want to hit on that we didn't touch on before. Uh, so it's end of June. What happens this week for Davidson County? Oh yeah. So we'll go into what's called permitless carry, okay? Which is uh, pretty cool, guys. So you'll be able to open carry and conceal carry in the state of Tennessee on July first, uh, which is extremely. Oh, that's right. I was thinking Davidson County is the whole state. Yeah, which is extremely amazing, guys. So this is pretty good stuff. Um, keep your eyes out on it. There are other small details that you need to know about it, but you can visit my page on I'm Not From This Planet. Um, and then I actually uh, did a video uh, regarding that, talking about that and things like that, too. Yeah, so if you missed that or aren't familiar with ITT, I'll have the link in the description for that. And, uh, in the spot where you can go to his page and subscribe and like and all that stuff. So I think double package. That's right, double package. Double package. I don't have them guns, but not yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
just about wraps things up on my Hellcat review yeah, and my boy. first time shooting. So again, we thank you so much for watching and double package. Until next time, we out. What up, ITT? What up, man? What you just do, bro? Man, that was the best experience of my life at a gun store. I learned so wait, much. Wait, wait, wait. What gun store? Let's see. Man, Follow me. Where we at? Oh, wait. Oh, there it is. Ah. Oh. Okay. Yes, sir. Man, we had the best instructor, a guy named John, and he taught me so much in about 20 minutes. I learned so much from this man in 20 minutes that I have in over 20 years of my life trying to do all this whole gun stuff. So. Very good. That's what's up, man. Well, yes. we had a blast. We about to come back. We will be back. Uh, and we're going to continue to bring you guys some great, great footage. Black Store, Nashville. You guys have to check it out.